Why is it such a bad idea to have Galadriel fall into the Michael defended fair form <laughs> of Halbrand, of Sauron? Um, first of all, because elves aren't going to fall for fair forms uh, just because they're fair. Elves have the fairest forms of them all to, uh, to repurpose this, the uh, Snow White um, magic mirror line so so elves the answer to mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all is always an elf that's so 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 the whole matter. the whole supermodel like you're so hot i'm attracted to you thing just doesn't apply to elves they're all supermodels so so there's no it's clearly an american thing that are going for but but that's the that's a shallow reason the real reason is that galadriel is not a teenage girl and wouldn't have been even though she can have flaws she can't be a teenage girl and if, if, even though Tolkien doesn't talk about Galadriel um, in the published Silmarillion much, there is he does talk about um, the fall of Eregion and Galadriel um, uh, in, in, in the Unfinished Tales and Lost Tales. And, uh, and she's just not, she's going to be like Gil, Gilgalad and, er, and um, uh, Elrond. She's not going to trust him. She's way too wise. Wisdom is her, is, is her shtick. That's what she does. And so, and, and, and she's too pure. And this is, I mean, yeah. first of all, she's married. So that's a reason. Right. And, and, and also marriage was very committed in there, unless yeah. it was like a fan or thing where, or a uh, uh, Fingolfin, right. Uh, didn't he? Yes. Yes. He married twice after uh Fanor's mother passed. Right. After she died. Yeah. But, but elven adultery doesn't happen. Like right. there is, I don't think there's a single existent, uh, it doesn't exist in the history of elves. They have their faults. That's not one of them. And so, so, so this isn't going to happen. She's married. She's it's, it's a, it's a teenager thing to think that someone like Galadriel is going to fall for Halbro. Um, it's, it, it's stupid on so many levels. Um, and then, and then of course the fact that, um, you know, there's this, everything about Galadriel and the rings of power is wrong. So, so I guess what I could say is rings of power Galadriel as presented, who's nothing guy Ladriel as, as, as she's called on the interwebs, um, Guy Ladriel could fall in love with Halbro. That that's possible because Guy Ladriel has like the the brains of a. Actually, my fourteen year old is a lot smarter than Galadriel in in uh, Rings of Power. So she has the brains of a thirteen year old. But but uh, even though she's thousands of years old, but uh, not not real Galadriel. What's interesting to me about the implications of what the Rings of Power did is that it made it made everything Galadriel's fault. That the reason why Sauron's not a good guy now is because Galadriel turned him down, rejected him, <laughs> boy, wouldn't take what he's doing at, at face value as being a good guy, you know. Um, so it all it's all her fault. He she rejected him, and now we have the whole third age, all the warfare that happens, and the the War of the Ring. Sad. <laughs> it's and the other thing is that um, the an elven human or elven other race relationship to Tolkien was such a stupendous event in mm -hmm. the history to, for her to just fall for some guy who is, you know, also in dire straits and water seems incredibly shallow for the writers to even consider. Because when we think about, uh, um, Baron and Luthien, we've got Arwen and Aragorn. We've got, uh, let me get this right. Two or, and Fin, wait, who am I? Wait, what's her name? I, Idril. Is, Idril. Idril. Idril, not Findulas. Findulas? Who's Findulas? Why am I thinking that right now? Anyway, Idril. F and elves. Um, and uh, <laughs> 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 I, if it's going to be an elf, I'm, I'm not remembering the name. I'm going to probably start with an F because I'll probably, half of them yeah. will I'll get it right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Idril and Tour. And then, and then you, I mean, and then we wanted to go to um, uh, uh, um, Melian and Thingle. Right. right. These are grand connections momentous. and to have yes. momentous. Right. And, and to make it Halbrand, some guy she meets and, and, uh, and Gladriel in the middle of an ocean, it just seems so shallow. Yeah. Um, and it's so it, it's, I mean, they could have made it grand. They could have done more to make it m m more of a, uh, an event rather than, you know, they're stuck together on some raft floating in an ocean. I, mm. I don't know. Don't it forget just... Arendir and Bronwyn. That, that's oh. happening at the same time. So they're, they're doing it twice. Like this happens all the time. It's like, oh, well, elves and with people, they just hook up all the time, you know? 
Yeah, yeah. And wait, what was uh, <laughs> Toriel and which Keely. one? Did she, Keely. Oh, tar, tar, yeah. Toriel, Toriel. Yeah. Toriel and Chieftain Toriel. Uh, yeah. I it's mean, just... I, I would I would venture to say that it's kind of an obsession of our modern culture to be like, um, they because they see it as a kind of so I think a lot a lot of them see it as a kind of social commentary on like biracial marriages and stuff. You're probably yeah. right. Um, yeah. It's like, oh, you can have an elf and a dwarf. You can have an yeah, elf and a human all the time. It happens all the time. Who are you to say no, bigot? So yeah, I'm. I, I just, I, I I see it as par for the course for them to throw. <laughs> it is hilarious. It speaks to the depths that my mind has reached in trying to um, exercise the the um, demons of rings of power from my mind that I had forgotten until Dan said that about Bronwyn Iran. And, and, I don't like and, my and mind. Just actually, I'm like, I'm not I'm even sorry. Thinking. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Dan, no, no. Dan actually rewatched the rings of power last week. He was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and for this episode, he wanted it's, to know. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's seared into my mind. I can't get rid of it. Yeah. yeah. It's also shallow. Um, and yeah, it's an easy way to like create a tense relationship too. It's like a, you know, uh, a medical show where it, it yeah. It, it doesn't take any hard work to create something tense in those shows. And here, like, okay, let's create a tough relationship. Let's do elf and human. We got it. All right, we're done. Like, th this is now, there's a, it's the forbidden Romeo-Juliet relationship. It can't happen. They have to keep it secret, blah, 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 blah. We'll leave it there, unless there's anything else to say about No, that nothing else to say. Okay. We're done. We're done with Gal Galadriel. Well, the other thing I will say is Labrador. about the Galadriel-Halbrand thing is, is when Halbrand says Galadriel's words from The Fellowship of the Ring at the mirror, Right. I would set up a queen, beautiful, like, and he uses those words. I'm just like, no, don't put her words so that what she speaks now in the Fellowship of the Ring is exactly. what he spoke. Really? Exactly. That, exactly. that diminishes her words so tremendously that it. it